Well, and boys, both making the three-meter semi-finals. Fantastic performance. Jack, first of all, you know, coming fifth. I mean, that's fantastic for you. What were your thoughts on the event? Um, it was absolutely incredible. The crowd was so loud. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. It was completely packed out as far as I could see. So I was absolutely buzzing for my first dive, and everything seemed to go pretty well, so I'm over it. And Chris, for yourself, obviously you knew that uh, getting the semi-final place would get this second Olympic quota place for, for the Games. Was that on your mind much while you were diving, or were you just kind of focused on each dive? To be honest with you, uh, I can't remember much of it already. I, I was totally focused, and uh, I was very nervous, but I used the crowd to my advantage. And we've got the place now, so we don't need to worry about that. And yes, we've got two places for GB, and it, it couldn't have gone any better. Jack, that was an obvious highlight for you, getting 90-plus on one of your dives. I mean, can you talk us through that one? And um, It's actually one of my newest dives, um, it's the highest DD dive in my list for the prelims um, and to go out and hit it in such a big event it is so good, it's just a good feeling. And Chris, yourself you seem to be improved with every dive, I mean were you feeling more comfortable out there or was that, that just kind of the way that it went with your list? Uh, yeah, I think I start off with my uh, lower tariff dives and I work up to my higher tariff, so I just wanted to get in there and just do a steady list, nothing nothing really good, nothing really bad, I just wanted to go in and do a steady list and that's exactly what I did, and then I nailed my last dive which secured my place uh, securely. Brilliant, well done guys. Thank you.